Okay, so here we are. The season finale of Eating Your Feed. I'm Nikki. And I'm Andrew. Today we have a very special episode. It's brought to us by Pure Leaf's new herbal iced teas. Our friend Adam has challenged us to make a flower pot cake. Okay, so this cake is made at a place called Jardin. Jardin, Jardin, which is garden in French. It's literally a flower pot. I think it's a chocolate shell. Mm -hmm. and it's just chocolate. layered with cake and mousse and jam, like a regular cake. And then it's just decorated with like flowers. I know we always say this, but it doesn't look that difficult. <laughs> we need to make a chocolate mold, cake, a mousse, jam, and the crumb topping that looks like dirt. Okay, so we have a very special episode. Mm -hmm. We also have a very special guest, world-renowned chef, Marcus Samuelson. What's Hi. up? Hi. Hey Marcus, oh, thanks for coming. See you. We're trying to make this cake that looks like a flower pot. Oh, yeah. that looks beautiful. So we're trying to figure out a game plan on how we're going to make this thing. You want to melt the chocolate right. Start there. So you put a big bowl right, in, yes. water, boil, and then you put the chocolate in. Very often you put butter right next to it too. Cake yeah. needs to be moist, right? Okay. So that means that you create a simple syrup, infuse oh. that into the cake. You'll help us if we get I'm, stuck, I'm, I'm, right? I'm right here. Okay. Yes! <laughs> Okay, we're making the chocolate pot. I have a variety of pots. Here's some actual terracotta ones. We also have like a popcorn bucket. Yeah, this is the material I'm most confident in, but this might be too big. I want it to look impressive, so I think we should try with that. So we have to temper chocolate. I don't entirely know what that means. Have you done that before? I haven't done it, but I've seen it done, and it looks really hard. <gasps> Temper, temperature. Is that it? Got that. <laughs> I didn't know that. I just want to call out, this is That's a beautiful so amount of chocolate. chocolate. Okay, Marcus said double boiler, so we need water in this guy. The temperature of the chocolate can't exceed 120 degrees Fahrenheit, so if we do that with all this chocolate, it's game over. Chopping chocolate is my new favorite thing. Oh yeah. Okay, so take out half a pound. Okay, so Marcus also suggested adding some butter to the chocolate when we melt it because texture. High five. Nope. <laughs> it needs to get to 120 degrees. This is fancy. That is a look. She's melting. The chocolate's melting faster. Oh, it's than at 106. <laughs> Let, let's take it off and then just stir it for a bit. Oh God, 121. The metal bowl's hot, it's still hot. The chocolate itself it is says... hovering at like 118. So see those streaks? Yeah, that is that, that bad? Might, that might be bad. We're going to add the remaining third. That's all the chocolate. So now we just keep stirring until it gets down to about 82. Uh, 82.83. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so the chocolate has sufficiently cooled. Now gently reheat it back to around 89 degrees. And this is the part where stirring it regularly will really matter. So now we'll do a temper test. We're going to spread a little bit of chocolate onto this wax paper here. It should harden and become shiny and hard very quickly. Yeah, no, that's completely liquid. Ah! I'm gonna pop this in the fridge. What do I do with this? Uh, stir it, maintain temperature. It, it's, it's good. It is? Yeah, I put it in for three minutes. Look at that. That chocolate is in temper. So we'll pour it in and then kind of... Yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. That's satisfying oh, yeah. to look at. I am really 50-50 on this. Wait, wait, put it in the second bucket to stabilize the shape. Cause you're you're getting a little gallywampus here. Here. Freezer? Yeah, let's go. Let's Freezer. go for it. So it looks like a pot full of chocolate. It yes. Good. The question is, will it remove itself from the popcorn tub? Oh no. I'm gonna get a pair of scissors. <laughs> Ready? Snip at the tip. Uh, <gasps> okay, okay, yes, all right. yes. Um, oh, I just broke it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wanna see what has happened? I don't know how to salvage this. This was failure. We're gonna temper the chocolate again. So I think we definitely come in way under 120. Yeah, so we're gonna use a different vessel to make the bucket shape this time. Well, we're gonna try a couple different things. One of them is going to be a plastic cup that we'll put a glass jar in. We will still use our popcorn bucket and maybe we should line it. How's it going? Pretty good. I'm kind of going on and off the heat, 95. We're climbing. Okay. I say we do a little ice bath. A little toe dip? Yeah. We're close. 
Hot cold, hot cold, hot cold, hot cold. So this chocolate has reached temper. So here's a test. Beer beef. That was 60 seconds in the fridge. Whoa! Pretty wow. good. Wow. All right, we're ready to uh, dump it in some buckets. Do, 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 I don't think we need to fill all the way to the top. No, I'm gonna do like halfway up and then. That's really good. Oh, into the freezer. Okay. I think we should just dump this all of it in, right? There's several like. Okay, parchment. <laughs> the parchment is falling down because of chocolate. Ah. <laughs> all right, okay, we're gonna this, bail on this, this parchment. parchment. This is the bed we've made. Now we have to sleep in it. Freezer. Okay, so we are using a tasty chocolate cake recipe. It's flour, cocoa powder, salt, baking soda, and baking powder. Stout. Yes, stout. <laughs> Which is beer. Don't, oh. Yep. Determined that it was beer. In the beer. Vanilla, espresso That's powder, butter, sugar, eggs, mayonnaise. What kind of cake is this? Is this a lie? So to oh. give you an idea of how much cake we're making, boom. We're gonna sift together dry ingredients. So now we have to combine the stout with the espresso powder and the vanilla. Okay. This is weird. Why wouldn't this go in the dry ingredients? It needs to dissolve. Otherwise you're just eating. Espresso. Got it. Blower. Okay, can you cream the butter? I can. Five minutes till she's fluffy. Six eggs, one hand. Whoa, profesh. Baller. <laughs> <laughs> There's that mayonnaise smell. Is this bowl big enough? Okay. Found a really big bowl. <laughs> Approximately one third. Here it comes, here's some beer. Oh, we have to fold in chocolate chunks. Ready? Yeah. You're missing. The bowl's enormous and you're missing. Yeah. <laughs> Here it comes. That looks decent, right? That looks that, great. That'll bake. It's time to put this in the oven. 35 minutes. Hey, what's up guys? Oh, hey. Hi, what do you got there? I was thinking maybe I should do a cocktail for you guys. Okay. Oh. Maracas Bay rum punch. Rum punch. Yeah, and just like making a chocolate cake, like a cocktail is all about textures and flavors. So this is peach hibiscus tea. Ice cubes. Ice cubes. Just gonna add in the tea. It's caffeine free, which is always good to have something that's caffeine free. Purely really take great care and pride in the ingredients that they source. Super fruit forward. Lime juice, simple syrup, dark rum, and also some honey bourbon. You're gonna shake that. Okay. I see you. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this rosemary and torch it just to open up some of these flavors. Like we're building floral flavor. I'm gonna squeeze in a little more lime. You wanna do the honors? Nice and cold, look at that, right? Ooh. And then I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of soda just to get some bubbles. Lovely. It's great. Cheers. Cheers. This is how every challenge should be, Adam. Do you wanna taste one? You wanna try one? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> nice, right? Oh yeah. Okay, thanks for the drinks. We're gonna get back to the cake. All right, thank you. Bam. <laughs> So the mousse is essentially whipping a bunch of cream and making a ganache and then just combining them. Fire. Half a cup of heavy cream, we're gonna heat it and then pour it over your chocolate. Oh, this is getting hot real fast. Two cups of cream and sugar in here. And we're now just gonna pour the hot cream over the chocolate and then count to 30. 13, 14, 17, 29. Has it been 30 seconds? Exactly. Wow, it's so wow. smooth. You're doing it? Well, I'm gonna stir it to help cool it down. Oh. Looks a little Is that a thing? Yeah, why does it look chunky? What did you do? Did you overstir? No. It looked really good earlier. It does not look so good now. Looks grainy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. So I think this chocolate is seized and a drop of water could help. So I have a little bit of water here. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. Uh. That looks better. Can I fold? Yeah, I want you to fold. Wow. Is it good? Yeah. The cake is coming together. I think we're gonna take up Marcus on his offer to make the simple syrup, keep the cake moist. Since we have him today, let's just bring him on and see how it's done. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? It's Pretty going. Good. It's going? We'll yeah. see. Cool. <laughs> All right. When we have this great peach hibiscus tea, why not use it, right? Yeah. So, oh, so we have the sugar. We also wanna make it like not too sugary, so that's why we're just adding plain old good on water. All we do is we're gonna bring this to a boil, mm -hmm. right? You want all the that sugar to dissolve. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just put that on top of the cakes? Yeah, you wanna sort of uh, brush it on, right? Paint it on. Thanks, Marcus. See you guys later. See you later. 
Syrup, it's time to make the cake. Oh. Okay. Look at that. Cake assembly. Oh, and we're filling this before we unmold it, right? Yeah. As it is alone, it's very fragile, and I don't want it to crack like when it did last time. Yeah. I no. think if it's filled, it's a little sturdier, and it will be less likely to crack. I'm punching out cake while I... Ooh. Is that the right size? Yeah. Are you sure? You yeah. want a little mousse at the bottom? A little mousse at the bottom. First layer of cake. Oh. oh. That's okay, that's okay. Let's do a little bit of mousse. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. Oh, nice. Syrup that. Oh, this is very jelly jelly. I will say the bucket feels very firm this time around. You want to cut out on the third piece? I do. I've done it really got to parallel park these layers into the... We're just going to cut this, see if it'll unmold nicely. Okay, here we go. The chocolate has a nice snap to it. Okay, okay, okay. The force of actually tearing it is... What scares? Oh my God. Are you nervous? I'm very nervous. Be gentle, be gentle, be gentle. Cue the heroic music. Oh my God! I can't believe that worked. It's coming. Here she is. Oh yeah. yeah. Generous. Oh yeah. One more cake on here. Okay, so I'm thinking we should just put these crumbs into the oven for a bit. Yeah, should we ch chip away some of the chocolate? I don't know how to do that carefully. I'll be right back. Okay. So based on Adam's idea, we have a baking sheet exactly like this one, preheating the oven. I'm gonna take it out and smush it on top, create a perfectly flat layer. I mean, it's not that hot. <gasps> oh, that's very satisfying. Whoa! Pretty good idea, Adam. I cannot believe that worked. Okay, so now we need to make this look like a flower pot, and what they do in the video is they airbrush, paint, it? They airbrush it with an edible paint. The gist is, we got this gun, we're gonna put some color in here, and then you spray. All right, I'm gonna start with canary yellow. Okay, I might join you with some sunset orange. Okay, we got this thing. Great. Here it goes. Oh! Oh, okay. no. Nope. That's just... Interesting. Not something I was prepared for, to be honest. The chocolate is not taking to the color. Yeah, theirs looks... Viscous. Look at this. It's metallic, metallic but it's not translucent. You wanna pop some in here? Yeah, why not? <sighs> All right, here we go. Yes? Maybe. Um, oh. You know, that's just... <laughs> It's gonna be a little bit of artistic interpretation of a flower pot. Here, I Can want I try? you. Yeah. Okay. Oh. When Look you do how much that, came off. It just all comes off. We, in fact, we could just wipe off all of it and say it never happened. Actually, the looks kind of nice. It kind of looks kind of nice. It has like a nice, uh, you know. It, it looks more expensive. I feel like we have to hide the evidence of our failed painting. I'm like, what painting? We never tried anything. I'm pretty pleased with this. I'm very pleased we with We weren't it. even sure if we'd have a pot. No. Okay, let's top it with some of this dirt crumb. This looks like dirt! Should Bam. we slide this onto the cake stand? Art! Oh, right. no. The less you think about it, the better it'll I'm go. I'm worried about this sliding. Yeah. Oh, this, this thing's yeah, rotating. No Bye! <laughs> yeah, we don't need that. The cake is just about finished. It's time to bite Marcus back. I'm hiding this because Marcus is back and I want him to be really wowed. Wait, what are you expecting? I expect a delicious, beautiful cake. He doesn't uh, know us at all. Okay, ready? Yeah. Ta-da! Oh wow, we got the dirt. And we got the crust outside. And we got some hibiscus here, right? Yeah. Some mm -hmm. dried ones, cool. I'm sorry. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. okay. Should we do that? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. I never I, thought to do that. You should take the tart. Oh, okay. that's nice. Should we go at the mountain top right away? Yes, right. yes. Nice. <gasps> oh my God, beautiful. This is wild. You guys did an awesome job. Crunchy. This is pretty. Voila. Let's do it, the big cut. I'm really worried it'll just completely fall apart. Here I go. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, that had a nice crack to it. Yeah. Here comes cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the important part, huh? How it yeah, tastes. how it tastes. Oh, perfect. tastes great. Oh, yeah. Really good. Mm. Yeah. It's hibiscus. It's mm. that floral. The dried ones are great with the chocolate. Yeah. yeah. And it's really nice and crunchy and fruit forward. I actually also love the dirt. It gives mm -hmm. you that nice crunch. Exactly. I cannot believe we did this. Maybe we'll stop. Oh, this is a good job. This is not easy. Adam? Oh, you're going to do the oh, aggressive God. bite. Oh, we're oh, going for the aggressive bite. 
<laughs> that is so big. Okay, this has been season two of Eating Your Feed. We made a flower pot cake. And uh, thank you, Marcus, for joining us today, thank man. Thank you very much. Awesome. Marcus. That was fun. Really thank you. Appreciate it. Great job. You guys clearly graduated this stuff. Thank you. Yes. Oh, yes.